Hi there, this time I'm going to be practicing painting this wildflower. So I'll be using Montmartre Two Season Series. It's a, a little bit opaque set of watercolor, and also I'll be using my old Montmartre watercolor paint. This is a bit more transparent than the previous one, and it's uh, three years old already so this blue is kind of difficult to open <laughs> so I have to soak it into this water and oh, it's kind of dirty I'm gonna change it afterwards <laughs> so there we go so it's not gonna lose I can't open the lid and I have to slowly Try to detach it. <laughs> okay, still. Oh, right, good. So after a while of soaking and a bit of lifting, it's now open. Well, my daughter has been playing with some of my watercolors. I allow her to use this one, and that's the reason why <laughs> my watercolor tubes, the old Montmartre series of three years, looks like this. So I think. This is going to look good if I mix it with this light blue, uh, cobalt blue from two season series of Montmartre. This one is Prussian blue, it's too dark, really very transparent. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at that! So, so a bit. Okay, there we go. And what am I gonna do with this? Let's clean it up, of course. <laughs> Let's use this tissue from takeouts and let's dump it with a bit of water and then clean my watercolor tube. So I, I share this uh, watercolor with my daughter. She's free to use it. That is why it looks like this. You know, kids. Okay, so as long as she's having fun, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, this is... Uh, Montmartre student grade, but I think transparency is really good. I have kept some of my paintings from previous years, like three years ago, and still the colors, you know, don't, they don't fade. They are still the same. Okay, let's just brush it off with this uh, used toothbrush, okay, just to remove those sticky pigments. Okay, make sure that uh, it's clean enough. Montmartre watercolor series are actually pretty reliable, I'd say, but it's a bit granulated for me. It's uh, also kind of off from some of the colors, but we'll see what we can do with this one. I'll be using a bit old set of watercolor from Walmart. I will use this solution uh, three parts of gum Arabic into ten parts of water. I'll be dropping like two drops of it into each of this mixture. So it's not that dry, but it's a bit uh, well stiff. I'll be using the toothpick. I don't want to use brush to mix the colors. So I have to make it a bit more pottery okay. so a bit of a solution will be good enough to awaken the pigments and uh, a bit of the gum arabic will help to make it bind since uh, the binder is uh, for most watercolors you know is gum arabic so this one it's good and creamy, I guess. I just mix the orange and the yellow, and that's from the old Montmartre series. Okay. So I don't need to put 
water on it actually when it dries it's kind of uh, crackle it dries fa fast so this green one is actually from the two seasons of Walmart I bought it last uh, summer um, probably um, six months ago or more and haven't used it so I just touched it <laughs> The orange mixture was actually a vermilion, or how do you say it, vermilion, and you know, a bit of yellow that was, I think, fast light yellow. Okay, and then the complete blue. It's the Prussian blue. So I have to mix and match. Probably I'll be needing some purple here later on. If I can't make it to my desired color, so probably a violet from the old series. Fabriano paper. Well, good transparency for this Prussian blue. Okay, let's blend it with the cobalt blue. Let's try to mix it up with a bit of the cobalt blue. I'm trying to achieve the color that this Nemophila Azul has in this picture. It's a wildflower actually. I'm kind of attracted to the softness of the color, but well, I'm not very good in my color. I'm still practicing at this stage, so I'm expecting a little bit heavy on this one. Yeah. I'm a bit heavy on the color, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm trying to be smooth on it and loose, but it's not easy for me to transition from the heavily pigmented mediums to this fluid, very fluid kind of medium, such as the watercolor. Let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, so I have like three main mixtures. Okay. And I just want to test the different uh, values of this blue color mixtures that I have already. So I'm mixing Russian blue and purple, cobalt blue and this purple. So they call it, it has a label of violet, rather. <laughs> okay, so we will see if we can achieve similar transparency and softness to that of the color in the picture. I'm adding a bit more of cobalt blue here with Prussian blue and violet. water into it because uh, well I want it to be concentrated enough like this so the transparency as you can see 
So I'll just play with the tones and the value of this color. Alright, ready to start. And I'm doing a time lapse on this one. So enjoy and please leave a comment. Maybe you can drop some good insights for me or suggestions or anything. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you. Enjoy until the end of the video, please. 